Where is your mother? Outside. Who? They're in the door. 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 And I'm the brother. I'm the brother. I'm the brother. Your sister? Yeah. Very good. You are proud of your sister. I want her to become a pure devotee like a Very Namo Mahabadanaya Krishna Prima Pradaya Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namune Gaurashena Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhika Yitadale Krishna Krishna Pradaya Karamata Yang Prabhu Jantaman Pesama Pesha Krishna Gai Paya Putre Kitan Mataya Sarabhogi Tan Sarabhogi Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najivan Prayadina Itipikyayade Tangay My millions of Gandhat Pranati in the lotus seat of my Parma Radhya Guru Parpadma Nitya Lila Pravishnu Vishnu Parsisma Prati Pragyan Kesha Gushpani. I am in the lotus seat of my Sikhya Guru Om Vishnu Parsisma Prati Vedanta Swami Maharaj. We are discussing about Rāramanand and Mahāprabhu Sambhāt. And we have finished up to Sakha. And Mahāprabhu has started it as a Uttam, Iva Uttam, Āge Kaha. Only one step is more. And that is why he is telling all the Sukha. And then he began to tell Nanda ki ma karod brahman Seva yeo mahodayam Yasodava mahabhaga papav jasyasam Meaning of Shamrani Srila Prabhupada has translated this verse as follows Ramana and Rai continued, O oh, Brahmana, what pious activities did Nanda Maharaj perform by which he received the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna as his son? And what pious activities did Mother Jashoda perform that made the Absolute Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna call her mother and suck her breasts. Any part, part, part? No proof for this person. Oh, you can tell something hidden behind. Srila Ramananda Rai here is quoting Sri Sukadeva Goswami, who is apparently not in knowledge of what are the austerities or charities or pious activities that Nanda Baba and Jashoda Devi performed in order to have Krishna as their child. Parikit Maharaj speaking to Sukadeva Goswami. So the actual hidden meaning is that Nanda Baba didn't do any pious activities, neither did Jashoda Devi, because their eternal 
relationship with Krishna is as eternal mother and father. But the question is, if they've done something pious, some charity, some austerity, I want to know what that is so that I can also follow that and also become as qualified as them to serve Krishna. Actually, Mother Yasoda and Nanda Baba are Nitya Siddha, eternal associates of the Lord. Their expansions, Vasudeva and Devaki, Prishni, Garba and Sutapa, Prishni and Sutapa, and so many of the other incarnations' parents, like Koshalya and Dasarath, are, hmm? Kashyapa and Aditi, are all expansions or expansions of expansions of Jashoda and Nanda Baba. And they performed austerities to get Krishna as a son, um, Kashyap and Aditi. They what about Devaki Vasudev? Devaki and Vasudev were the, um, they didn't stand on their heads. Did they did any authorities or not? In their past lives, as Krishna and Sutapa. I whereas, think never they did. No, they didn't do any. They were also eternal associates. So Nanda Baba. Krishna, Garba, Aditi, Kasha, or they, they had them. They made them. But they are eternal. Nanda Baba and Jashoda wants to taste, just as Krishna is Rasavai Saha, he wants to taste everything top to bottom with the gopis, with Madhya Yasoda, and even with Kubja. So Madhya Yasoda and Nanda Baba, they want to taste everything. They want to taste as Siddha, eternal... But why eternal. it has been told that what Nanda Baba did and what Yasoda, why it is told? Tattu lila kaivalyam. What meaning? That Krishna sometimes descends and he does everything for lila. He never does any karm. But Lila. And the associates also, oh, like Krishna, oh, they are doing Lila according to what? Uh, society are. Time means. No, no, no. Human like past times they are doing. And to attract others for this as Krishna condition for attracting all and to engaging all in Krishna consciousness, or they also. And as Krishna, in his so many prakas, manifestation, or he becomes, oh, what, millions of Krishna, oh, Nanda Yasoda all also, in same way, in so many past times, in the Sections. 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 Or they also became or millions of Nanda and millions of Jashoda. In Prakat Lila too, like coming in from this Brahmalok to uh, traveling on the Thank you. <coughs> why he is telling? Oh, or you? Why he is telling? Why he become so astonished? Astonished. And who is telling? And then what? What is the story? What is the story behind? Oh, you can stand up. In this verse, Krishna Maharaj, who has left everything, he has only a few days left in this world because he has been cursed and he's been hearing of nine cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam. Now, tenth canto has begun. And he's hearing how that Supreme Personality of Godhead, who in the form of Barahadev lifted the whole world on the tip of his nose, that Supreme Personality of Godhead, 
who very easily with the tip of his fingers tore apart Hirani Kashifu, who was the master of the universe at that time. That supreme personality of Godhead, who appeared as Ram Chandra and killed Ravan and performed so many heroic deeds. Now that supreme personality of Godhead has appeared in Vrindavan and he's not even strong enough to roll over from his back to his belly. <laughs> now he's playing like a baby. If a mosquito will come, oh, he'll only cry. Wah, wah. <laughs> he cannot save himself. <laughs> Who will save him? <laughs> In his other incarnations, oh, he has saved the world many times. But now, uh, who will save him? Amadiya Shoda will save him. Hmm? Whatever he needs. He's crying. She'll give her breast milk to him. Here he's saying, Ishodava Mahabhaga. Papoyasyastanam Hari. So now that Supreme Lord has come like an ordinary child and he's playing in Vrindavan. So, Prishit Maharaj. Hare Krishna. So, Prishit Maharaj, hearing these things, he's saying, Nanda Kim Akarod Brahman. Oh, what did Nanda Baba do? What did Nanda Maharaj do? Hmm? That Krishna is playing as his son? That, oh, when Nanda Baba returns from the Nanda Vaitak, from his council, and he returns in the evening, at that time, Krishna will go and take the wooden shoes of his father. And holding them on his head, he will come dancing and very happily bring his father's shoes on his head. Hmm? When it's time for Nanda Baba to take Prashad, then they will tell Krishna, bring your father's seat. And he will go to get the wooden seat of Nanda Baba. But he's only a small baby, and he tries to lift it, and he cannot lift it. Hmm? So, how is it that Nanda Maharaj attained this fortunate position of being the father of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna? Hmm? Yashodava Mahabhaga. And how is it that Yashodameya is so Mahabhaga, that means greatly fortunate. This word Mahabhaga has been used in Srimad Bhagavatam when? It has only been used in, re in reference to those devotees whose love is so powerful they can uh, control Krishna. So Krishna playing like a baby in the house of Madhya Shoda. Sometimes he's stealing butter. And when Madhya Shoda comes to catch him, seeing her, the Supreme Lord, who, whose very name causes fear personified to be afraid, now becomes afraid of Madhya Shoda. She's taking a stick in her hand and chasing him. And he's running away very fearfully. fearfully. Oh, Maya, Maya, don't beat me, don't beat me. And she can catch him. And only by the rope from her hair, she can bind Krishna in such a way that he cannot become free. Hmm? He is Mukunda, he gives liberation to everyone, but he is being bound by the rope from the hair of Madhya Shoda. Hmm? When Krishna is hungry, he will come to Madhya Shoda, Oh mother, oh mother, please I want to take your breast. But if he is covered in the dust and cow dung from playing in the garden, she will tell him, Yo, you dirty boy, get down. Hmm? You cannot come in my lap. And Krishna will fall on the ground and he will begin to cry. So, so many sages and rishis for thousands of years performing austerities and crying, Oh, Krishna, oh, Krishna, please come in my heart. But he's not coming. Hmm? And, but here in uh, Vrindavan, that Krishna, he himself is crying that he wants to come in the lap of Madhya Shoda and she's telling him what? Oh, shaking a finger and telling him, No. Hmm? Will you behave like that again? I'll teach you such a lesson. You will not forget for your whole life. Hmm? And Krishna is crying. So hearing these sweet pastimes of Krishna in Vrindavan. Really Krishna weeps or he is like a drama play he is no. Now the question comes. Is Krishna weeping, only pretending? No. He's God. He knows everything. And just to have a pastime, he's playing like an actor. Is it true? No. 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 Krishna's really afraid. Krishna's really crying. Why? Because the praying of Madhya Shoda. Oh, this is essence of Swarup Shakti. It is so powerful. It has overpowered Krishna. And though he is Bhagavan, he is completely forgotten his Bhagavata. Hmm? It is stated in Chandogya Upanishad, Raso Vaisaha. The absolute truth is the ocean of Rasa. But in order to taste that Rasa, the mellow of parental love of Madhya Shoda, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, will have to be in complete forgetfulness and become like a child in her arms. So hearing these things, Brikshit Maharaj is struck with wonder and he says, Yashodava Mahabhaga Papoyasya Stanam Hari. Oh, how is it possible that the Supreme Personality of Godhead who nourishes and maintains the whole universe is now being nourished 
by the breast milk of Madhya Shobha. So, we are very fortunate to hear this wonderful description from Srila Gurudev and Vaishnavas. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but now in Braj, in Vrindavan, he is the son of Nanda Maharaj and the beloved child or son of Yashoda Maya. He doesn't know that he is Supreme Personality of Godhead. He's completely forgotten. How? By the potency of Yoga Maya. And similarly, Nanda Baba, Yashoda Maya and all the other Brajwasis, they do not know at all that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In fact, they pray for Krishna's protection, that may this child be always protected from all inauspiciousness or all evil eyes. And they do so many performances and so many festivals to do that. And they pray to Narayan for his protection. And Krishna, with his wonderful sweet pastimes, like an ordinary baby, just like any human baby would behave with their mother and father, Krishna is behaving with them and those wonderful childish activities, they completely enchant and captivate the minds of Nanda Baba and Yashoda. As he's growing up, small baby is crawling and gradually starting to walk, he starts stealing butter and he makes his group with other similar cowherd boyfriends and he goes from house to house, house to house, house to house, house and he steals butter. And in those pastimes, what he does, if he goes to one house and he doesn't find any butter, how he The beautiful form of Krishna at that age, how is it like? He's wearing any beautiful garments? No, completely naked. Mother Mishoda, she has given one uh, uh, waist belt, very thin, very nice, and it has bells. And when he walks, and when he goes, they ring. And very nice, sweet music comes out of that. And the beauty of Krishna, it becomes even more and more and more uh, exciting. So, when he's going with his friends, and he's entering in any house to steal the butter, and if he doesn't seize the butters there, then what happens? becomes very frustrated. Okay, so they have kept the butter hidden from me, so I must teach them a lesson. So he will do so many naughty things. Sometimes what he will do, he will go and pass urine and come. <laughs> and the gopi, they will say, oh, this is naughty Krishna. I shall try to catch him. But before they can catch, he skips from there. Another time, if again he doesn't get the butter, then what he does? He goes and pinches their baby and the baby starts crying and then he comes away from there. So, one after another, he's doing so many things, then one day, one of the gopis, she becomes very determined. Oh, he's just a small child and he's trying to be too much smart. No problem. This time I must catch him and I must take him to Yashoda Maya and show, him, show her that, look, I got your son red-handed. How naughty the son is. And he must take some actions now, so that his character and his personality when he grow up is bona fide. Otherwise, he's going to become like a big pig. And when they come and they narrate all these wonderful pastimes of Krishna, then what is the idea behind? They're trying to tell Yashoda that, Oh, Yashoda, you're very fortunate to be Krishna's mother, but you're deprived of this rasa. What? That Krishna is not stealing butter in your house. He's coming to our house and he's doing so many things. But Mother Shoda, what she's thinking, 
But oh, why why he has to go and steal butter in the houses of other gopis? My butter, what I make in my house, is not good quality. It's not sufficient for him. No, that was the reason. And she's thinking in so many ways how she can improve her service with Lord Krishna that he doesn't have to go outside. One day, one gopi, she catches Krishna while Krishna is stealing the butter. And then she says, all right, now I'm not going to hear any excuse and I'm going to take you to your mother. And then grabbing Krishna's arm, she starts walking towards Nanda Bhavan to tell the Shoda of Krishna's mischief which he has done. And as she is walking towards the house of Yashoda Maya, then when she comes in the marketplace or in the open road, then she covers her face half like this up to nose with her veil because that's the custom. In India, still, if you go in villages, especially in Braj and around, everywhere you will see, in Rajasthan especially, if ladies would go out of the house, then they will not just walk completely uh, 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 without covering their face because this is their custom age old from tradition they do like it so this lady was fo uh, following her customs she was walking like that and grabbing Krishna's arm in one of her hand and as she was walking then Krishna very nicely very sweetly like a gentle baby said oh you are so cruel you are hi you're holding my ar uh, arm so tightly it's burning Okay, no problem. If you want to keep holding on, you can take other arm and give this arm some rest. And she says, okay. And because she's covering her face, so she doesn't really notice what has happened. And she does it. She grabs Krishna's arm, other arm, and starts walking towards Nandababa's house. And then when she arrives there, she calls out, Hey, Yashode, come out. Hey, Yashode, come out. And then, hearing the sound, when Shodamaya comes out, then this gopi speaks to Shodamaya. Look, I got this criminal now. Every time he escapes and proves that he doesn't do anything wrong, but today I've caught him red-handed. Here is the proof that your son is a butter thief. And then Shodamaya, she's looking at the face of this gopi and just very wondering and surprising what this gopi is saying. Why? Because the, the hand which is holding, which she is holding, is not Krishna's hand. Whose hand is that? Son's Her son's, son's, son's hand. hand. <laughs> and then, when the Shodamaya replies to her that, wait a minute, wait a minute, cool down, you should look for whom you have brought with you. And when she looks, and she is also shocked, oh, it's my son. How did that happen? <laughs> that I, I, I'm sure I only grabbed Krishna's arm. How come? This my son has come up here. Now what happened when she was walking in the streets, then other friends of Krishna, they started coming together behind him because they were friend, their, their friend was in danger. <laughs> Big problem. So they are good friends. And they said, friend in need is a friend in need. So they said, okay, we should try to help him out. So then, but they were also teasing. Now, now you see, now you have been uh, uh, arrested and you will have punishments now. But later on they help. So the son of this gopi is also Krishna's past friend. So when Krishna offered that now you can hold my other hand, that's when he gave the hand of her own son in, in gopi's hand. And she didn't knew that fact. So like this, Krishna, one after another, he does so many wonderful things and he captivates the heart of all Vrajwa. <laughs> was not satisfied by telling only that is slow. He again told another is slow. Nemang virancho no bhau nasya pang sanshaya prasadam leviri gopi yata prapta What is the meaning? You ask the Maharaj and explain this Or you can try. Oh, Mother Maharaj.
The favor of Mother Yashoda obtained from Sri Krishna, the bestow of liberation, was never obtained even by Lord Brahma or Lord Shiva, nor even by the goddess of fortune, who always remains on the chest of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu. Here it's being stated that Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, they're performing so much austerity and they want to get the lotus feet, obtain the lotus feet of Krishna. Even the goddess of fortune. But still, though Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, and the goddess of fortune Lakshmi, she's always at the chest of Lord Vishnu, but still they cannot obtain that favor that Mother Yashoda that she has. That Mother Yashoda, she has this Vatsalya mood with Sri Krishna and Vrindavan. But Lord Brahma, he's not able to enter into this branch frame. Lord Shiva also, he's not able to enter. Nor is Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune. But Mother Yashoda, she is even chastising Krishna. They're performing austerities for thousands and thousands of years. But here, Mother Yashoda, very easily, she's taking Krishna and she is even chasing him with a stick. Prabhu here has explained that the gopis, they're bringing Krishna and they're complaining that, oh, he's performing so many um, nefarious activities. So Mother Yashoda is thinking that, oh, why is it that he's going, he's stealing butter, he's stealing yogurt, why he's doing this? In my house, there's enough butter. But she's thinking maybe that the butter, because the cows that have been milked by the ladies who are churning, that maybe they have not done so nicely. So. She's thinking that I'll do myself. So she gets up very early in the morning. And then she starts to turn. It's three o'clock in the autumn, um, three o'clock in October month, Kartik season. And as she's turning, she's thinking of pastimes of her baby Gopal. And to herself she's singing, As she's turning, tears are falling from her eyes. Sweat, like pearls, also, they're falling from her face. But it's quite cold. It's October, November month. So why these, um, why sweat is coming like little pearls? Not because of the heat, but actually because she's feeling above. And she's calling with love, Govinda, Damoda, Madhava. And because she's calling with praying, then Krishna, he cannot but resist. He's laying in his bed. He's two and a half years old, little baby. And that same Krishna, who when he was six days old, he would very easily, uh, he sucked out the life air of Putana. When he was one month, that also killed Trinavata. Three months, Shakatasura. But now, he cannot even get down from his bed. Thank you. I am not going to I am not going to and even Lakshmi always serving him. They were not fortunate 
to be like Mother Jasoda and Never. You know, Brahma has four heads and so many eyes, and he can see everywhere. Very powerful. He can create so many universe. Also, we know that there are Brahma having oh millions of heads and millions of eyes. Very powerful. But you know, when Brahma saw Krishna, that Krishna entered in the mouth of Agarthu and he was killed. He became like a poison raid with fire or in his and he everything was chopped. No pran, nothing. And thus here. But and from here. Oh he so came. Like a light. And she was waiting for Krishna when he will come out from out. And when he came out with all covered bass and cough when he came and he entered in his Lord's feet. Brahma, oh, his Supreme Lord. But I want to see his so many pastimes, more sweet past. And he did something wrong and he took away his coughs and covered bath and he kept in it in a cave. And he went for a moment to his low. And from there he, when he returned, then he saw that oh Krishna is playing with his cups and covered boy. How wonderful. Then from backside four eyes is shot towards the cave. Oh there were also present. Oh he became in jail. What is this? Among two who are real Krishna and his associate and cough, but he could not destroy. Then he fell down on the feet of Lotus Krishna and began to pray so many, no mid-dhati And while that clapping, covered heart Oh, who is he? Foreheaded. <laughs> like Shama, Shama. Who is forehead? And what he is doing to Krishna, my, my friend? <laughs> and they were very who asked So Brahma, even Krishna did not talk to him. He was praying, but he was just standing, keeping his hand on the fence and taking a lotus foot, flower like this. And he was playing with the covered by and neglected Brahma. <laughs> so you know Imam Brahma even like Mother. He can pray from very far away and Krishna will neglect. But Vajra Sudha Ma, Mother is chastising of oh, naughty boy. You cannot come in my lab. I will not give you breast. And then what becomes? Krishna is very happy, though he is weeping. And even gopis chastise it. Being a supreme Brahma and Lord, gopis are oh, what? making so many jokes with Krishna. And Krishna oh, gets his float and his peacock feather on the feet of and praise, I cannot. Even gopis are telling, oh dhutta, cheater. cheater, oh black, outside, inside, everywhere is black. <laughs> Very lusty. We don't want to 
that the youth should come to us. But we know that without ladies you cannot in any moment. <laughs> so, so many things. Brahma for, for Brahma it is not possible. And you know Sri Shankar, Shankar once came from Kailas to Braja. And he wanted to see this sweet dawn's rush with gopis to Krishna. But when he came on the borderline of Vrindavan, he was just stopped by oh, so many old ladies of Vrindavan. Oh, you cannot enter here. And then here, like ignorant, Shankar could not enter. They stopped. <coughs> then he began to oppress something that I want to enter in Vrindavan. How I can enter? Oh, you cannot enter without the permission of Yogmaya. So, you should do oh, hundred and thousand years austerities for Yogmaya, then he may come to get darshan and then, then you can enter. And then he sat there and began to do austerities for thousand and thousand years. After that, Purniman, Yogmaya, so oh, he gave darshan. What whom you want? Oh, I want that. You should sprinkle your mercy that I should, anyway, I should go to Vrindavan. And I can see the lost dance of Gopis and Krishna. Come on. And he took his hand and he drank in a tank and that kund is Brahma kund in Vrindavan. And he took out, she took out him, and then he saw that I am very beautiful. Go. Oh, yes, so sit here, near Russia. And from here you can see, and see, vanished. Oh, in the evening, full moon came, Krishna played on floors, all gopis from here and there, there and there. And they assembled, they began to do rosh. But today, they were not happy in rosh, not satisfied. Krishna told, oh, today rosh is going on, but no happiness. Gopi told, yes, today we are not satisfied. Why? We don't want to dance or not to sing. Why? How did it happen? Then, and when told that, oh, it is sins, or Krishna told that it is sins, that any intruder, huh? intruder, intruder outsider, 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 who don't know all these things, oh, he has entered in Rasa's study anywhere. So such, we should such, and they began to solve. Oh, thousands of gopi, how many? So many crores and crores of gopi, West began to search here and there, and here by this all. A very pretty fourteen years old girl gopi girl was there. Oh, why you are hiding yourself here? Who are you? What is your name? But he has not given any name. Oh, only gopi form she has. Oh, where is your husband? Oh, what is your father's name? Oh, what is your village? Where is your village? What is the name of the village? Anything to do. And then began to? Where is your? Oh, she could And she was very, very. And they began to all from all sides. And he chief. Swallowed. And began to cry. Oh, Mother Yogmaya, you should say, say, say. <laughs> Then at once Yogmaya came. And began to pray to Gopis and Krishna. Oh, she is my disciple. <laughs> Sadashi. Hmm? Gopishwar Mahadeva. Please be merciful. I have given words. I have given form. But I could not tell 
we have fair about some. So we must be good. Then Krishna told, you should be here. And your duty is that anyone who has not done austerities and not have done what? Bhajan Shadhan in the guidance of gopis and who has not taken birth from the home of gopis and if he has not married to any go, oh, they should not be allowed. So, you should see and then you should certify and then you should give entrance. So this is your job. And from then he became Gopishwar and he still he is there. So, but he could not participate in Ras and after that he has seen Ras or not. It is there. So even Shankar, he became even Gopishwar. But he, Krishna was not his son, did not, did not play it in the lap of him. And not any pastime you will think. And Lakshmi, he tried, went to Melbourne near Vrindavan, oh, across Yusnadi. And from thousand and thousand million years, he did that story. Krishna appeared and told, what do you want? I want to see Rasa. You can. Why? I will. I want your blessing. Do you want that you should take birth from the home of any gopi and to be married with any go? Oh, that I can. Then you should be there, here. You are not allowed. So even and in Lakshmi form, it is absent for her to serve Krishna in any way. So if it is absent for Brahma being his son, Brahma is his son coming from his level. But ye, and Shankar, oh, Harikar ek atma, both are like one. But even it is impossible for Shankar to serve. And Lakshmi even, always in the form of golden or always massaging Narayan. Oh, see. So what to tell be your? So, there are so many things, the story, that even Brahma, Shankar and Lakshmi cannot serve. To part to tell others. So very, very durlab, rare to serve Krishna. But Krishna being Supreme Lord, even controlled by Jasoda So, here is the glory. And hearing this, Oprichit Maharaj must help you. Gaur Pramanam. Can you sing? Jaso Mati Nandana Jaso Mati Nandana Raja
My heartly blessing to all the devotees who are assembled here. Especially Mukunda Sanatan, Bhumipati, Puri, oh, especially Puri. <laughs> And his and his company. Oh my God! <laughs> and Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Oh, is here, and I never thought that so many devotees will assemble here from various part of Canada, here and there, from New Jersey, from New York, me. Florida, 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 I want to see who came from Vrindavan. Especially I am happy that all management here for taking prasadam and for about and everything they manage so well. So also my thanks to the owner of this place for I went time to time. Oh, assembles are like this. Meeting our councils will be like that. So, oh, I am listening my to, but yet, if you will call like this, or be in the here, the body, I must come. Hey, hey. Now, oh, I want that, uh, from that group, Mukandusur. Hari Bhava devotees. So first before anything, since I have all the simple devotees here, from the bottom of my heart, I want to offer my obeisances and beg your forgiveness for whatever inadequacies that happened while we were here. I take totally on my head that responsibility and I know when Spin Shivan on the same received the transcendental kick of a Kanda Guru Tattva Sri Nityananda Prabhu. So I'm willing to take the transcendental kick of Srila Guru Day, then you can have the prasadam. <laughs> go out. But also many devotees did so much work, even from the time they came here. Tango Vijay Didi, Vrinda Didi, and all Guru Day's party, even arriving and not sleeping, to make all things clean and nice for Srila Guru Day. Yeah. And then also so many devotees, including, Guru Day was already mentioned, Chaitanya Charitamrita Prabhu and his good wife, Lasting peace now in our Sangha Lalita Devi. And, and they're allowing us to come here. Puruji, for he had found this place as an alternative to Nubrindavan when they would not host. And of course, so many devotees, of course, Sanatan Prabhu and all Washington Sangha, Bhumapati um, Prabhu and family from New York, and um, Bamsi Varden Prabhu, of course, Bamsi. Is not a very old devotee in this song, but he is our sergeant of arms in Washington to <laughs> make organization and make everyone strong. <laughs> also, Stein Baba Bubu and all our devotees who have come with us. Mara Bubu, of course, Mara Bubu has been with us since the beginning. All devotees there in Washington. Of course, Paramananda Bubu. No, wait, that's a special thing. <laughs> No, but also, I also want to thank Shamasunda Das and family. Shamasunda Das came, he came to attend the festival here on Harikata Guru Day Sangha, but from the day he arrived, he was the plumber. <laughs> so, also, so, Ekanam Prabhu and his wife, they were also here for one month before serving and doing everything. In the kitchen, 
Lalita Devi, our Head of Kitchen Mother, Mother Pralada Nandadidi. Yashapad Prabhu, who is going in every morning, trying to help and make cereal and everything. Venu Gopal. Parameshwara Das. Parameshwara Das. Every day. Oh, he's in the kitchen now. Parameshwara Das. Bhumi Didi, who came in and she made very nice transcendental feast today. Bhuma Pati, of course, also. But so much special mention to this devotee, Sahade. I think Sahadev may be the first time he has been in this building since the festival. <laughs> huh? Every night again, and on, on near Jali Karasi, Chaitanya Chaitanya and Sahadev at 10 o'clock at night drove to New Jersey by Boga. They came back, Sahadev stayed up through the night and cooked it so it would be ready in the morning. So also all of the drama play devotees, Radha Priya Didi, Mother Mohan Didi, and all devotees in the drama play, and anyone that I forgot to mention, you also please forgive me. Any thanks for me and my... Without without all the devotees giving Hari Kata, there's no meaning to all these other things. Like Srila Prabhupada said, everything is zero until you put one in front. So the one is here, but we also have plus one, plus one, plus one, Shamarani Devi, plus one. And Padinath Prabhu also, who's the transcendental arranger. How you can? Very short. Oh, make good arrangement for drama. One last thing, Alachua Festival is February 17th. February 17th, so maybe we'll have another 350 devotees plus 500. Five hundred. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.